Welcome back. Somebody blew up the bridge outside. And we're trying to find out what happened to Yisha, if she's okay after all this. She doesn't appear to be in here, but there's a light on in the fireplace, and we can see that there's something shiny uh, in there, and it sort of looks like Yisha's necklace. It is Yisha's necklace. Which we've now picked up. And it's glowing. Blinking. Strange. So it appears the Yisha's necklace actually does show you things. What we just saw appeared to be a memory of some kind. So the necklace shows you memories. And this particular memory has me a little concerned because it showed Yisha being chased by someone. And she's obviously not here anymore. So maybe whoever was chasing her managed to get her. Which was would not be a, a good thing. The question is, of course, who was it? Well, considering that uh, Aetris wanted to see us to talk about his sons, it's not so far-fetched to think that Sears or Echinar had something to do with this. Speaking of whom, there's a picture, uh, a painting, up here. Which apparently shows Aetris, Catherine, and Sears and Echinar on mist. You can recognize the reflection pool and the clock tower. Back before uh, all, everything went wrong, basically. And again, we see the necklaces blinking. That was such a good day. I wish... Oh, I wish so many things, Atris. Tell me again we did the right thing. And again, we get to see a memory associated with this painting, apparently. This is uh, going to continue throughout the game. The necklace will allow us to view memories uh, related to objects and places and help us uh, unravel the plot. So I think it's time that we uh, contact Atris because it looks like somebody may have uh, kidnapped Yisha. He's left us here alone with Yisha for 15 minutes. And in that time, somebody broke into Tamana, blew up part of the house, and um, I can actually see... No, I can't really see it, sorry. The little part of the house. And kidnapped Yisha. I think that this may be the last time that Aetris will ever ask us to babysit for him. We gotta contact Atrus. Um, one of the things we need to do before we can use the crystal viewer, though, is extend this antenna. Which we could see how to do uh, in this diagram here. It looks like the monitors are working now that the power is on. And 
there's a memory associated with them. I will not risk having our home broken into again. But cameras, my love? I'll feel so scrutinized. I'll only place them in the most likely entry points. You'll forget they're even there. I promise. Okay, so I just put up some cameras, apparently. Not so strange, uh, after Savidro uh, managed to break in. Looks like she, like he uh, placed cameras at the monorail at the old entrance from Miss 3. And in their bedroom. No, Catherine won't feel scrutinized at all with the camera in her bedroom. Which means that the bedroom is an entry point? Hmm, strange. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Extend the antenna, but in order to do that, we need to use... This uh, lever here. Which opens... The roof. This lever is so inconspicuous. It is incredibly hard uh, to spot. Or well, it's not particularly hard to spot, but it is easy to overlook. If you're thinking that's the same thing, no, it isn't. Um, and as a result, it took me quite some time to uh, figure out how to get to the telescope. Because if you don't use that lever, then this button won't work. And you need to use that button to get to the telescope. Okay. There's a memory associated with the telescope. Not sure which star he's actually talking about. Can't really see anything important here. What we can see, though, is the moon. If you needed any more evidence that uh, Tomana is really on Earth, here it is. Because this is very clearly uh, our moon. And around here is where Apollo 11 landed on it or will land on it, because it hasn't happened yet in 1825. The others were, I think, Apollo 12 was around here. 14 around here, which is actually where 13 was supposed to land, but of course that never happened. And 15 is somewhere up here, I believe. And 16 and 17 are down here somewhere, if I'm not, not mistaken. I'm not entirely certain about 16. Uh, I know for certain that 11 was here. That's the one thing I... the one I do really know for certain. Anyway. We're getting uh, off topic here. This button would appear to uh, deploy the antenna. Either that or a windmill. But it does what we want. And that's all we can do with the telescope. back around. So we can get off it. And we need one more thing, and that is the code to uh, the uh, to view rhyme in the viewer. outside here now, at night. 
which again looks really nice. You'd figure that based on the angle of the shadows we'd be able to see the moon from here, but apparently not. Okay, um, so Hedges' journal is in here. But we'll read it in the next video.